before we take a look at mental training in surgery, let's take a look at another positive aspect of mental practice, of which some scientists in fact say, well, that's probably the reason why it works. And what I mean is, when your mind is busy with mental practicing, with thinking about the correct movements, it cannot be thinking about all that rubbish. It cannot have thoughts about failure, for example. Uh, what if it doesn't work? Uh, what will other people think? In this respect, mental practice is also a kind of distraction, a, a distraction from these handicapping thoughts. And I think this is one of the reasons why they observed positive results in the following study, which is a study by Malouf and colleagues published in 2008 in the Journal of Sport Behavior. And the title of the study was Effects of Pre-Competition Positive Imagery and Self-Instruction on Accuracy of Serving in Tennis. To be honest, due to my prehistory as tennis player, I actually was searching for a tennis study. So this is a really nice study. They had 115 experienced tennis players with an average age of about 38 years. And all participants were told, let's have a competition. Let's have a service competition. If you win, you will get a trophy. But, and this is the only thing you have to keep in mind, you have to follow the instructions. One group was given written instructions about visualization. They were told, for example, visualize how the ball goes into the target zone. A second group was told to use self-instructions a kind of positive self-talk and they were allowed to use whatever feels good for them like for example just do it or I am the greatest or whatever <laughs> they were allowed to use whatever they wanted and the third group got an instruction in which was written please serve as you usually do so obviously this was the control group All subjects were then given 20 attempts. Everybody was allowed to serve 20 times. And they received no point if they missed the service completely. So if they shot out or if they shot the ball into the net. They received one point if they served into the right service field. And they received two points if they served into the target area. So in the tea field, there was another target area where they should serve to. What were the results? Well, I think it's not that obvious that the imagery group or the self-instruction group should be the better one because maybe serving as you usually do is also a good strategy because you are not distracted by thinking something new like visualizing or telling yourself you are the greatest or something. But in this study, it really turned out that imagery or self-instruction were better than serving as you usually do. Probably, that's at least what I suppose, they were maybe more focused and not that distracted by the idea, oh, I really have to score and what if I fail? So I think One reason why mental practice works is indeed that your mind is busy and you can't think about all that rubbish. Therefore, it's for example also helpful right before a public speaking situation to mental practice the actual speech, to really think about what to start with and what you say in the middle and how you transition from this point to another and when this is what you are thinking about in fact for me this seems to be the reason why the beginning of an episode when I talk to you is always much more difficult there are still thoughts about well is it really going to work what I want to say and as soon as I'm in the middle of my speech 
it really gets more easy because I'm right in the middle of the actual topic. My thoughts are really focused on the facts I want to present to you and there's no thinking about, well, what if I say something wrong or something like this. So mental practice is also a good method to distract yourself from thoughts that are not helpful. 